It is Vlogmas Day 4, and I am Shayna of The Wealth 5, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. But it's Vlogmas, so I'm taking you along with my day so you can see a glimpse of my life. I woke up like this. I really did. <laughs> And FYI, if you didn't watch the vlog this yesterday, you know why my skin is dry. I use Retin-A. As a matter of fact, I'll show you right now. Actually, I think it's in the room. Oh, no. Nope. It's right here. Um, I use Retin-A on my face. And I've been using it a lot more lately. Um, I typically only use it once a week, but I've been using it pretty much every day this week. And so my skin is, like, super dry, like, just everywhere. So I just have patches but I just need to continually moisturize. I'm not supposed to peel it and whatnot, but I need to put a moisturizer on my face to get rid of the dry patches. So I actually didn't use it last night, but when you use Retin-A, like your skin is dry for life. Well, not for life, but... So for today, I actually have a few things that I need to accomplish. I have an interview tomorrow, so I need to prep for that interview. I also have to do a few things for the course that my boyfriend is launching in february it is a joint partnership between us two and so i am responsible for a lot of the marketing and administrative tasks and pretty much everything that kind of ties together the course he's kind of just lending his content knowledge um the idea for the course was mine it was my idea for him to create a course so I'm kind of wrapping up all the loose ends related to creating the course. So we are planning to film the course content next week. So in preparation for that, I need to order a few things and think through a lot of logistical stuff for that. So that's what I have planned for today. So I'm here on FaceTime with my sister. She's helping me come up with logo designs for my boyfriend's um business it's just a mess we're up here drawing stuff <laughs> and drew in my gray book so many different ugly drawings and she's sending me messages not ugly. <laughs> she's sending me messages of different drawings hey sheree say hey to the log <laughs> so she's up here drawing me stuff that don't actually look as bad but <laughs> It's just so difficult um, coming up with logos. <sighs> His logo right now is so trash. Wait, what does it look like? I've never seen the real one. <laughs> it looks like a barn house. <laughs> I'm going to send it to you. But yeah, the, so the concept behind his business is that he was headed to the NFL. He had a few private workouts with different teams. But on draft day, he didn't get called. But he did well in school, and so he became an engineer. But he didn't want to continue to, like, you know, work for a check. And so he tried to figure out another way. And so he went into real estate, and that is his way of drafting himself into his own league. So originally, the idea started off, with like, trying to combine, like, football with, like, real estate and so a logo, not the actual football, but like different elements. It's like I had an idea of doing like um, like different routes. Let me show you. Um, like this one, <clears throat> this route thing, like having that um, shaped into a house or some sort. Um, we haven't gone through I don't know how long we've been on FaceTime, but I feel like we've gone through so many different iterations of this house thing, this logo thing, and I'm just at a loss. And I think the key with like working with designers is having like a clear vision. Unfortunately, my boyfriend has no vision at all. And it's just like, I don't know what to do. I just know that what we have is trash. So... Thankfully, my sister, she's being helpful and being creative, but we still are, I think, not making that much progress. I've come up with my decision, and I like my design. 
if you look at the shorter house let me see i shortened it because it was too long but that's the double d that he wants is like an intertwined double d okay i can't sketch that this is all i can sketch i'm an artist so she's thinking this now oh, i don't know y'all i like this one in my first design but i gotta go so i'm hanging up on you now okay. it's my lunch time <laughs> it's her lunch time so she's leaving me all right bye sheree bye. go follow her podcast it's called the fatal crime confessions podcast it's on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, um, Spotify, and Podbean. She's a top rated podcast. Only been out for what, two months? A month and a half. A month and a half. And she has thousands upon thousands of downloads. Check it out. All right. Thank you, Sheree, for your help. Bye. Bye. I lucky feel embarrassed to even go back to the designer and be like, this is what we want these trash ideas we need help we need help so i drew up some more ideas and my boyfriend wants us to try to have the designer draw something up like this this one and then this one this has been ridiculous i don't spend so many hours becoming a fake artist <laughs> just did my hair which is why my hair is soaking wet but it is so late right now so i'm not gonna have time to actually do my nails but the good thing is i'm interviewing with two people i already know so hopefully my nails won't be a deterrent <laughs> um i'm gonna just do my nails next time they're just plain or whatever but i have other work that i need to get to before i go to bed so earlier we were looking at logos for my boyfriend's business, Draft Day Real Estate. And so we also have a few other graphic design needs. Earlier I actually found a video editor, which is great. Not for me, but for his course. We're going to have like 58 lessons in the course. And we need to be able to, once we record next week, to turn around and be able to... um have those edited so that we can have in the course. The course is launching in fe February. So we don't have that much time to edit 58 videos on top of me doing Vlogmas, on top of me doing my regular videos and other things that I need to do. So I found a video editor and she's relatively inexpensive. So I'm really excited about that. So that's cool. But what I'm about to do is I'm going to also look into the proposals on Fiverr. We put out a request to find someone who will do video animations. And so we got 32 um, proposals back. So I gotta go and sift through those on Fiverr to see what's up. <laughs> so let's see, manage requests. So if you didn't know that you can do this on Fiverr, um, yeah, it saved my life because I used to go through individual profiles and try to find the best person. And obviously I didn't find the best person have to run through trial and error with them and then had to go find another person. But then my sister, who I actually put onto Fiverr, she actually told me about this um, request, this post a request feature in, in Fiverr. And I've, I've used it four times already since she's told me about it like last month. So um, let's check out these proposals. So here we go. So, review offers, 32 offers. So, we had a budget of $150. We have, like, some very short animation videos that we want to create, like those whiteboard animation videos or something like this. Um, let me see if she has an example. Oh, maybe this is an example. I don't need a Facebook cover video. Okay, that was going too slow for my liking. But you see how they're doing like the whiteboard animation here? Yeah, this is exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, so this is exactly what we're trying to do to explain certain principles in um, his course. So I gotta go through 32 of these and pick somebody like ASAPington, okay? 
actually before I do that, I'm going to actually go on Amazon and purchase a few items for the set for his um, course videos. So we originally were thinking about going to WeWork down in Atlanta or up in Atlanta <laughs> to record all the videos because through um, the institution that I teach for as an adjunct, I get a global um, a global membership to WeWork, all locations. And so it's free for me to use and to have a guest there. And so we were thinking about recording there, but then he made a really good point about having to travel to Atlanta, find accommodations, and also if we ever wanted to re-record something, we would have to go back to that we work location and so it would probably be more of a hassle than anything but i really wanted to do it there because they have a whiteboard they also have was well, a glass board they have glass boards they have televisions projectors and these really really cute like office settings so i really wanted to record there but he made a really good point about the logistics of it all so i need to go order a background from amazon and also a desk that's why we were looking for a desk the other day but i went ahead and found some on Amazon so I'm just about to check out and the cool thing is oh my gosh y'all so I never thought the day would come where my boyfriend would give me a credit card with my name on it <laughs> so the reason why I say that is it's probably not normal I know this but I had ex-boyfriends that had given me a credit card here or there with my name on it and so I had mentioned it to him and he was like I would never do that so he actually just gave me one, but it's for the purpose of buying things for the course and also like household groceries. So I can't really say like, it's just free reign and I wouldn't take it for that, but can y'all believe it? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm about to go and purchase these things on Amazon um, for the course. We were kind of having a little difficulty finding a background that would like allow his skin to pop, but I think we found something that's decent enough and I know a little bit about tips and tricks for lighting to like remove you from the background and stuff so I think it'll work so let me show y'all what I or I'm ordering I ordered this backdrop here so that's going to be the backdrop so we also got this desk so we um we purchased a course on how to create courses and the woman who has this course she actually records um and she has a white desk and so he was like i want everything she has in her background and i'm like what <laughs> so obviously we aren't getting the same exact things that she has but she has a white desk and actually it's going to probably be a good decision because the white will reflect light and make sure that his face is completely lit so it's not going to be so much in the videos, but a little bit will show in the video. And it's also just to place like his laptop and other things on the desk that he might need while he's teaching. So those are the things that we're getting for the backdrop. And I probably am going to like pull some books that we have around and like stack them up to make it all scenic and whatnot. So far we spent a good amount of money like preparing for the course but the really good thing is that we pre-sold and so we did get a few students from pre-selling it and we expect to get a whole lot more students in january when we're marketing the course um he has a connection through um this other real estate guy and he's been teaching at his conferences for the past year and so he has a conference that's happening in dc in january so he's hoping to uh, pitch it to those people and also he's a member of the facebook group and they're like hundreds of people and he's um so we're hoping that we get a lot of sales from this course and so the investments that we made will be so minimal <laughs> hopefully so yeah let me get to work on finding selecting someone for this whiteboard animation one one of the investments that i made in my business and my future businesses and i guess my boyfriend's business and just anything that i plan to touch and brand was to join the e-brand club i joined it um like three months ago and you might have heard of her now her name is Erin on demand on youtube and she has this e-brand club it was twenty dollars a month but now i think she's going to raise the price she had this cute proposal video released the other day so you might want to check it out but she's been blowing up on youtube like recently but she's also a howard alum 
So I definitely wanted to support, but she's having a audit today. And so for Instagram, so I'm joining the audit while I also look through the whiteboard proposals. So that's Erin on Demand. And we're doing um, Instagram audits right now. So if you have a business or a brand or anything that you're interested in checking out, I really highly recommend joining her e-brand club. It was $20 a month. I don't know if she's already raised the price, but she said she was going to raise the price soon. But I think it's a worthwhile investment. She does a lot of work with um, giving people feedback and helping to ensure that their brands are really good. But let me actually get to these whiteboard proposals and also pay attention to this. And I think that's pretty much going to be it for Vlogmas Day 4. But tomorrow you want to stay tuned because I'm going to be talking a lot about my job search process. I know I put up a video two days ago that brought you in on what was happening with one job. I'm going to give you the rundown on a lot of different jobs. And I'm also going on an interview tomorrow. So you want to stay tuned for that video.